Hi there, in this video I'm going to be having a go at doing some collage and cropping on this painting here. This is one I did outside uh, when it was lovely and sunny. The weather's gone off a bit now. I was sitting out the back of the car and you can watch me doing this painting in the video that's at the link that's just here. So if you haven't seen that one where I was doing the initial painting, do check it out and uh, let me know what you think. I often get asked when I'm doing these videos what the differences between watching my YouTube videos and doing a workshop. Now obviously I'm going to say the workshops are better but there is a really good reason for that because watching the YouTube videos and I do it myself with other things you watch things that you're interested in but it's quite passive and essentially in these YouTube videos you're watching me do some work and as a learning experience, it's okay, but I think watching other people do their work can only take you so far. So the main difference between these videos that I do here on YouTube and the workshops that I run are that these videos here on YouTube are about you watching me work, whereas the workshops are about you doing the work. And that's a big difference. Because when you want to learn how to do something, you find something interesting. Like I said, you can watch instructional videos, you can watch uh, people doing their work, but that will only take you so far. You, you learn so much by doing it yourself, by having a go, making mistakes, finding successes. And that is the crucial difference between these kind of passive, you know, just watching me do my work, which is absolutely fine if you want to do that. But if you really want to push your work a bit further, then you have to do it yourself. And that's what the workshops are all about. They're about me giving you a guide, me showing you certain things that you can try out, taking you through uh, different steps in a structured way. But essentially, you're doing the work and I can give you my feedback on it and it really helps to push your work along. So if you're really interested in that, if you want to try and get your work really moving, find exciting new dynamic ways to make interesting compositions, uh, paintings, collages, all that kind of stuff and all the sort of things that you see me doing here, then do check out the link that's here on the screen. My next workshop is uh, coming up pretty soon in October, but there's still time to join up. Uh, you can get 15% off if you join my membership group as well, which is uh, free for the first month. So you can join that, you can get the discount. And uh, if you don't like it, you can always leave before the, uh, before the next month comes along. So there's no lock-in period on that. So do check it out. Have a look at the link here that's on the screen. If you find it interesting, I'd love to see you on the course. Okay, let's get on. So as I said, I'm gonna do a bit of collage. This was a painting that I did out the back of the car when it was a beautiful sunny day. I was looking down a lovely sunny lane with shadows moving across it and I just thought it was really beautiful. Uh, just threw some painting down, got some marks, got some colors, got some you know, paint texture, a few layers built up there, but I wanna do something with it now because I always do these paintings in a way to react to what's there, not worrying about composition. But now I've got it here in the studio, I can have a think about how I want to put it together and make an image that I find satisfying. Okay, let's have a go.
All right, that was good. The uh, initial crop that I did there was actually looking pretty good, but there was just this area here, which I wanted to change. I thought it was looking a little bit, I don't know, I just didn't like the way I'd painted it. It wasn't very interesting. So I found this other piece, which had a similar color to it, it had this uh, nice um, kind of strong yellowy green. And, but the marks in it are better. They've got more interesting brush marks there. So I wanted to introduce something into that area just to give it a little bit of life because I felt it was a bit rubbish. And then the uh, advantage of that as well was I had this dark piece, which was kind of matching up quite nicely with what was going on over here. So I've got this kind of arch shape shadow running through the image, which I quite enjoyed as well as I put it down. Uh, once I'd got that bit down, the top bit here where this piece of collage wasn't linking in with this top area very well. So I wanted to find something to go over the top there. And then uh, this piece, I quite like this little pencil mark. It's, um, I don't know, it's little, another kind of arch shape, really. It kind of echoes this. It's, it just happened to be there. And I, as soon as I put it down, I thought, oh yeah, I quite like that mark. I want it to be there. And it adds a bit of interest to the top corner as well, which is quite good. I was looking for something at the bottom here, maybe, but I wasn't too sure whether I wanted to change it because I do like the, big light brush marks that are here and this pink uh, pastel that's there as well. I was in enjoying all of that. Uh, I just, so I was just trying a few different bits of collage out because I always think it's worthwhile just having a look to see if something improves it. Even if you don't necessarily want to change it, you might find something that's just a little bit better, uh, but I couldn't. Uh, I found that there wasn't really anything that I wanted to add that would improve it. So I've left it alone and I quite like the lightness and the marks at the bottom here. So yeah. I think it works quite well, just added a few extra marks in just to kind of emphasize the things that were already there. Didn't want to change it too much at that point. I think I said this in the previous video where I was doing a collage, you've got to be a bit careful uh, when you're adding things in afterwards, because if you start putting paint on and adding too much, you end up repainting the whole thing and you may as well have not bothered going out doing the sketching outside in the first place because you've lost the, the spontaneity of what you saw. Uh, when you were there. So yeah, I think that's quite nice. It's got uh, some of the lightness, some of the marks and movement and space and color that I saw while I was outside. I think it's come together quite nicely. It sort of works together as a composition. Again, these, um, these kind of arch shape marks running through the image creates quite a nice rhythm to it. Like I said at the top of the video, if you're interested in getting your hands dirty, finding some interesting, exciting compositions that you're not expecting, finding things that are new and exciting to you, things that you can respond to, getting closer to the kind of work that you want to do, then do check out the link that's here on the screen for my next online workshop. I'd love to see you on there and I'll see you soon.